Stephen, um, how good an opportunity is this for Scotland to pick up from where they left off after the Albania game? Yeah, that's exactly it. I think we we done really well the last trip, um, first in the friendly, but obviously the the bigger game was the Albania game, and um, it's about building momentum. We've we've been brave and played a certain way, like the managers asked us, and um, again we've met up. It's a bit shorter time wise, but it's just probably more of the same that is the the message really. How good is it for you being back in the fold now and and again looking to pick up momentum yourself? Yeah, it's been good. I've touched on it a few times, saying it was as you get older and you feel your kind of opportunities maybe become a bit more limited, um, and you've got to grasp them. I bet I felt I felt really good since the start of the season and started well for club and and, and obviously got my chance last time round. So um, again, the message is carry on, try and do as hard what I done last time. Do you feel more responsibility now as an older player? But not only that, given that there's maybe not as many options up front as there, there previously were? Um, as you get older, you definitely feel that you're one of the more mature boys and the the simpler things throughout the week, you need to lead by example. Um, there's probably a few of us in that position. Um, in terms of position-wise, I, th I think there still is still a lot of competition for places. Um, and it's not, not so much the the couple of names that people say in the press, but they've got a, f a handful of boys that can play further forward in the pitch and, and who are match winners themselves and maybe not out and out goal scorers, but they can do something to win you the game predominantly on their, se their own. You're closing in on your 50th, uh, Stephen. Was that a thing that you perhaps thought had gone? Not totally, but I think I did start to think or wonder, am I going to get any more chances? Um, and it's, it is difficult when you you maybe miss out in a squad or you're in a squad and you, don't, you aren't involved in the games. But my mentality has always been to kind of work as hard as I can and, and never give up. And I'm thankful I've had the opportunity, but it's about putting the performances in and match days, really. By the time you get your 50th, it could be Scotland qualifying for the playoffs. Is that the ideal scenario for you? The dream ending of the year, I suppose. Um, but there's a lot of hard work, personally, but collectively as a group. Um, and that starts tomorrow. What do you make of Israel? They don't seem to have been doing too well recently. You know, and there's a lot of negativity towards them from their own people. Is that something we may have to guard against? Uh, we, we'll definitely not be taking it lightly. We know we've watched a bit of the video and... Um, They've got some very good players in their squad. Obviously, a bit of transition at the moment. Um, and we've been in that position at, at ourselves where it's tough to get everybody used to the systems and the way you want to play. But they are a good team, uh, especially at home, and we will need to be our best. But I think the biggest thing for us is carrying on from where we were and having a few fundamental things that we've done or we have done since the managers came in and carrying that on to the the game tomorrow.